Jerry and Wiley from Suits to Sandals. We spent the last 74 days through biking the East Coast Greenway from Maine to Florida with the real star of the show, our Siberian Husky, Misha in tow. Follow along as we navigate our first through biking tour over 2,893 miles down the East Coast of the United States. We have not checked in at all today, but we are already on our fourth leg of the day. We're doing about 52, maybe 53 miles today. And we're gonna hit South Carolina. I don't think we're that far from the border. We're currently in uh, Calabash, North Carolina. And we just stopped at the Calabash Deli for lunch. It was pretty good. So far, the traffic has not been too crazy, but we've had multiple people warn us about uh, how crazy the roads are gonna be once we get on 17 and South Carolina. So we are prepared. We have the vests on. We have extra lights, we have our helmet mirrors, although we're not liking them very much yet, so we gotta get used to those. And yeah, we're, we only have about 13 miles left. Did you say anything? <laughs> Nothing here. Anything you wanna contribute? Nope. So. Just pedaling. We got 13 miles. We're gonna stay somewhere in between North Myrtle and Myrtle Beach tonight in a hotel. And then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do the following night because it is uh, after 2 p.m. today on day 51 and we haven't even broke 50 degrees yet. So we have our puffies on, he's got his long gloves on, it's been a little chilly. So, got another state, South Carolina, East Coast Greenway sign. Three more states left. Do you think it broke 50 today? <laughs> it is, I don't know, about 4.30. Sun's starting to come down. We have to just head back towards the ocean and then we'll be at our accommodations for the night. Didn't film because there's lots of traffic and I don't know how much we're gonna be filming in South Carolina because 17 does not look like a fun road. No shoulder. People going high speeds, it's a highway, fun stuff. Good morning. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning. It's about mid 40s, low 40s right now. I think our high is 55 today. And we're currently in North Myrtle. We stayed here last night. Our plan is to get to Georgetown, South Carolina tonight. Originally we were gonna camp, but the high tonight is between 29 and 30, and Wiley doesn't like camping in that cold of weather, and his sleeping bag's rated for 30 degrees, but we all know if it says 30, it's not really rated for 30. So the plan is we're gonna stay at an Airbnb right in Georgetown for tonight. We have a little less than 60 miles to do today. Hopefully we're super visible in South Carolina. Everyone's been warning us about 17 traffic. We got a little taste of it yesterday and it is a bit crazy because you literally are on a highway. So we'll see how today goes. Between like 10 and 15 miles into today's ride, actually have some greenway, which we didn't know we were going to have. So this is very nice because a lot of the route through South Carolina is on Route 17, which is basically a highway with no shoulders. And it's got little rumble strip things too on the painted lines, so you just don't have any room. So it's an anxious ride with a lot of traffic and it's not very much fun. So not looking forward to that, but this is very nice. Don't think we have much more greenway today, so we're letting my show out early in the day. I think we're only at mile 10. Um, 
but if we're gonna be on 17 for most of the day, she won't get some exercise. So we're letting her out, let her stretch her legs. That way, once we get onto the busy road to 17, I'm hopeful, hopefully she'll just lay down and nap. We are somewhere south of Myrtle Beach. Not sure exactly what beach town we're in. Well, my she actually loves the beach. She's a big fan. Oh! <laughs> Can we get those tippy toes wet? How's it going? Little day before Thanksgiving traffic. There's a few cars on the road today. compared to what we've had the last several days and the evening I think it's only gonna get down to like 45 which is warm compared to what we've been having so all in all I think it's gonna be a pretty good day big fan of these trees and the Spanish moss hanging from it super pretty about six more miles left in our day and it's all gonna be on 17 which isn't that fun but so far so good traffic's been really dead today because it's Thanksgiving happy to see a shoulder we've been told the second bridge not so fortunate doesn't have a shoulder and is under construction so they're pushing all the southbound traffic into the northbound lanes with cement barriers so that's gonna be fun but beautiful morning Maishi had a flat tire when we woke up must have punctured it yesterday very close to our destination because we didn't notice until we woke up so we replaced her tube now we're hitting the, hitting the road for about 60 miles we're gonna be camping the night so see how she goes first leg of the trip back roads off from 17 very nice it's Thanksgiving Day um, I don't know if this road normally has traffic, but there is nothing going on right now. So loving that. We're gonna be bouncing on and off 17 all day today. Not excited about any of the miles on 17 because that's a crazy ass road. So hopefully everybody's stuffing their face with turkey while we're on it. And we get through smoothly. My she's napping. She's trying to. bridge of the day. They're doing construction on the uh, southbound side. 
Lucky for us, there's enough of a median right here. Shoulder, I should say. Uh, better than yesterday's bridge, that's for damn sure. But coming up to it, and probably coming off of it, there wasn't much of a shoulder and there was rumble strips. to bike lane but it's certainly working uh, this is far from being a greenway that's for sure well this is the highway section of the East Coast Greenway and lucky for us, at the moment, there is not a lot of southbound traffic for whatever reason. It's Thanksgiving Day. Uh, we just went through a long construction site, which kept most everybody to the left-hand lane. So there's not too many people in the right-hand lane, even though the construction area is done but we were warned about this multiple times. On the way down, everybody who's done it before us was just like, oh, South Carolina, hey. So we knew, um, not ideal, but we're dealing with it. I think it can get worse because there's sections without this shoulder and then we're just forced to be in a lane. Um, we will find out. going. Okay. Never know what you're going to see on the East Coast Greenway. sliver of greenway today. Let Mice get some steps in before we dump back out on roads and then the last section is going to be on 17 again. Still on the greenway. It's green grass. This is the less maintained portion of the journey. Technically, we're in National Forest, so somebody got creative with the route. Last couple miles for the day. We're on Route 17. The sun's getting just to the point where it's a glare in the face. I don't want people to not see us that are behind us, so... I try not to take the sidewalk, but traffic going by like that. Unless it gets a little crazy or a little dicey. Then we take them because they're generally not they're generally not very smooth. Um, sometimes have some pretty serious bumps, and sometimes there's people and things to dodge, like construction. Good morning. We 
are about to leave. It's quarter to nine. We stayed at the Mount Pleasant um, Charleston Kway. Originally we were supposed to tent camp, but because it was Thanksgiving, we decided we'd get fancy and upgrade to one of the primitive cabins. Nice and cozy. Maisha got her own bed, so she was happy with that. And uh, today we only have about 40 mile day. We're gonna get south of Charleston to Hollywood, South Carolina, and stay at another campground tonight. We will definitely be tent camping tonight. I think our low is 35 degrees. We have a lot of 17 today. We have a bridge to go up and over to get into Charleston that I guess has a nice greenway so we don't have to worry about traffic on that. And maybe when we're in Charleston, we can get some good lunch. So, Wiley is packing up his bags right now, getting his bike ready. Maisha's patiently waiting. My bike's all packed. And uh, this is a pretty nice KOA. They got a lot of stuff going on. Lots of primitive cabins and lots of activities. They got a little lake. So, nice one to stay at and it's right off the trail. Nice. That's what we like to see. Got a bike lane over the bridge. A bike route and a walk route on the bridge. Big fan of that. We're at Isle of Palms. And this little inlet goes out to the ocean. Not the sunniest of day, but we'll take it. She was defending her pearly territory.
See there's traffic around here. Good morning, and we are just breaking down camp, getting everything into the bikes. It was a chilly night last night. It was a low of 36 degrees. It's still probably only 37, 38 degrees right now. So we're trying to warm up a little bit, and we got a long day. We're going to Buford today. And East Coast Greenway has warned us of poor conditions on Highway 17, so hopefully we don't have to hike a bike, but we're gonna give ourselves enough time that if we do need to do that, if the roads aren't safe, we will. Stay tuned. About 42, 10, 15 in the morning. We're on one of the side roads that go parallel to 17. When we are on it, it's nice side road um, but we're about to pop back on the 17 this section just has no shoulder we've been taking the lane which at least because there's two of us in the trailer and you know we're highly visible but it's never fun taking the lane on the highway constantly looking in my mirror making sure people are moving over but uh, it's just gonna be one of those days. We just got into Beaufort County, which is the town or city that we're staying in tonight. We're still in 17, but at least we have a sizable shoulder. The last 15 miles of shoulder has been um, really nice because we haven't had to take the lane, so we're happy about that. So, we're on a road. And if we kept going straight, it would eventually run into 17. And half a mile back, the East Coast Greenway wanted us to take a left to get on Route 17, which is really dangerous. Or we could have went straight, which is what we were looking at, straight ahead. And as you can see, the pavement ended, turned into sand. Some of it's deep enough that I can't even pedal in it. The Dre is walking. Um, so that's why they made us go left to get on 17. But it's not that far. We can see it from here. So we're just walking it out and doing a little bit of pedaling when the sand firms up. But that's one case where I guess we should have followed the trail. I've got mountain bike tires, so I'm a little better off than Dre, but it's still not easy. It's actually really tiring. I can't relax. Update, the sand got firmer. Uh, we're riding again, both of us. And uh, if it stays like this, it really you really don't have to walk for all that long. So it might be worth it in the end. So that's 17 up ahead. You can probably see the cars going by. But when we hopped on this morning, it went to zero shoulder, which is super sketchy if you're on a bike because that meant we had to take a lane so that's why we're taking this sandy road is to avoid being on that nonsense so this sandy road will lead us to the next road we're gonna cross 17 so any any amount of route 17 we can avoid we try to um, especially if there's no shoulder So you can see how much shoulder there is right there on a two-lane highway, four-lane highway. Not a good time. It's a little sketchy. Taking a lane on 17. Not my idea of a good time. Finally, finally, we're off the 17. 
Oh my god. 23 miles according to my navigator of noisy highway nonsense. Whew. Glad that's over with. This is more like it. But they still have rumble strips. Gosh darn it. Give Maishi a little bit of a rock ride. I've noticed a lot of the roads in South Carolina have a canopy from the trees. It's kind of nice. South Carolina also has all this tree moss all over the place. Kind of cool. So we are 50 miles into our day right now. We're on our last leg, so Wiley has Maisha. Getting into Buford, we have less than 10 miles. I thought it was gonna be a lot more crazy of a day than it actually was. We had about two and a half miles of no shoulder, which was not uh, an awesome feeling. But other than that, the rest of 17 had a pretty good shoulder and the trailer would fit, so that was great. Rough shoulders, because a lot of junk and just debris on the side of the shoulders, but whatever, if we can be on the shoulder rather than the road, I'll take it. We do have a little bit of greenway at the end of the day and a little bit of greenway going into tomorrow, which is nice. It'll be our only greenway of the day. But we got a little bit of it and got to jump back on 21, which is kind of like 17, doesn't have a shoulder. We'll have to take the lane on that, but I think it's only like a half mile stretch and it's not as busy as 17. So it's only uh, time three o'clock. Doing good. It's a little whiny when we're on greenways and she can't get out of the cart. She really likes to get out of the cart on greenways. But we go from a 10 to 12 mile per hour pace to about three mile per hour pace when my, she's outside of the cart. Highway 170 right now. Across the Broad Sound. Now we're on the next bridge. A little bit, a uh, little bit of traffic, but shoulders pretty decent so far. leaving Tom's house. He's actually doing a ride along with us to get us on the Greenway, our only Greenway of the day before we hit Savannah. They're just waiting to cross the road over there. And tonight we'll be in Savannah. We have a short day. It's only about 33, 34 miles. And then we're gonna stay with Trent, who works for the East Coast Greenway. Morning, Maishi. We're on our way to Savannah, Georgia. Just stayed in Bluffton, South Carolina, uh, with Tom and Beth. Tom and Dre used to be co-workers. They spoiled us with a nice warm bed, an outstanding meal last night, bagels for breakfast this morning, and coffee. Good to go. So on our way to Savannah. 32 to 34 mile day and we will be staying with another East Coast Greenway employee. So it should be a good day. It's gonna be in Georgia today, another state, and it's warm. I don't want to call it real warm, but it's a, it's a nice day for sure. 
So no complaints here. This bridge is on the border of South Carolina and Georgia. Once we get on the other side of it, we got two states left. Woohoo! So there is South Carolina. There's Georgia. It's official. There's Wiley. He dropped his croc 2.4 miles back. And we were trying to decide if it was worth getting or not. But crocs are $50, so I told him to go back. So he's got a little <laughs> under five miles to do to go get his croc on this like truck road. But I think it's worth getting. I just wish we noticed it sooner. Hey, look. There's my croc. I just had to drive, ride, pedal, whatever. 2.4 miles back into South Carolina to get it. Because I didn't strap it down. Yay. So that's basically an extra five miles for me. Hopefully I don't do that again. A lot of trucks. Yeah. Because we're near the port. They're everywhere. Take the trailer off and then lay it down. We are in Forsyth Park in Savannah, Georgia. This morning we left 
Okatee. Okatee. South Carolina. South Carolina. We stayed at Tom's place last night and it wasn't too bad today. There was places with no shoulder but traffic wasn't too too bad. And we've now been assured from the East Coast Greenway members that uh, we've got past the worst of it, so that's exciting. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more enjoyable and a breeze all the way down to Key West. So tonight we're going to spend the night in Savannah. This is our second time in Savannah, but every time we come here we really enjoy it. Savannah is like a chill, low-key city from our experience the two times we've been in it and we really kind of dig the vibe of Savannah. Yeah, downtown seems clean and classy. Uh, it's got some history, big time. So we're just enjoying the sun. Marsha's taking a little cat nap. I don't know if you can hear her snoring or not, but she's snoring away. We're about to get back on the bikes. We got what, like a mile? Point nine. Point nine to get to Brent's house. 